pandemic, as you know, brought the music industry to a halt. It, it couldn't stop musicians from doing what they love, and that includes recording a live album across the southern border. Que me gusta la bamba, que me gusta la bamba de madrugada cuando todos la bailan, cuando todos la bailan en la enramada y allá arriba, allá arriba. So that's from the documentary uh, Fandango at the Wall. CNN's Chloe Malas spoke with the people behind that. Good morning, Christy and Victor. Fandango at the Wall is a music documentary that features a live concert being recorded at the U.S.-Mexico border. I got a chance to speak with the filmmakers about why this film's message is so timely. The Santa Rocha musicians from Veracruz touch everyone who sees this movie so deeply. What attracted me to this project was, well, Fandango at the Wall. Fandango was something that's harmonious and beautiful, and the wall is something that's not. Both are man-made. So we really have a choice to create the world we want to see, um, and that's what this project's all about. The film follows Jorge Francisco Castillo as he takes the filmmakers to Veracruz, Mexico, to meet the local musicians who put on the annual Fandango Fronterizo Music Festival. For me, music is uh, like a medicine. Uh, it's um, a healer. Uh, it, it, every time I go through something, it's music is there to to save me and to to cure me. And um, when when we play music like uh, Son Jarocho, it's totally a, a, a community prayer. The film's director also spoke about being able to complete the film amid the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm just grateful that, you know, the themes of the film are being communicated, but we're also kind of spreading the love and the joy and we're giving people an adventure, a cultural adventure to be able to experience during this time of, you know, lockdown. Christy and Victor, this film is currently airing on HBO, which, like CNN, is owned by Warner Media. And I'm telling you, this one definitely pulls at your heartstrings. Spreading the love and the joy. We love that. Chloe Molas, thank you. Yes, we do.